Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. Um, I have the new Sigma, what is it, Corda Rosa palette. This is what it looks like, it just came out. This launched on the 14th of this month, so there she is. I'm gonna swatch it and we'll do a look and we'll see what I think of this. So yeah, if that sounds good, definitely stick around. Make sure you are subscribed. It's free, it doesn't cost anything, it helps me out. So yeah, make sure you subscribe and we're gonna do swatches okay. first. So there are 14 shades. This looks very much like a um, ABH palette. I guess this was supposed to be over. It was kind of stuck to the mirror. So yeah, we're gonna do all 14 shades. I'm gonna live swatch them. I haven't put anything on my arm. I forgot to take my watch off last night. So you'll have to forgive my watch band, but I'm going to swatch them right here and then we will do some sort of a look. Okay, so the first one is Bell of the Ball and I'm just going to do top, bottom, top, bottom. So there is Bell of the Ball. We have Bare Root, which is a matte Veranda, veranda. It's probably barely gonna show up because it's almost my skin tone hybrid. Hybrid. If I could read, that would be good. Kind of a peachy shade. Then we have Sun Spirit. Another shimmer. Medallion is a warm brown. Damask is a pink matte. We have Campfire. Doesn't look quite as metallic as the first two. We have Shakespeare. And Dark Knight. Let me pull that over past my tattoo just a little bit. Let's see. Go this way. There we go. So there is Dark Knight and we've got a very light matte in apricot. Again, that is probably that shows up a little better than Miranda. And then we have Summer Song. High Society is a shimmer. And then the last one is Cora de Rosa. And this is the shade that's got the little rose embossed, stamped in it. Okay, so there we go. There are all 14 shades. So I'm gonna clean this off and then we're gonna okay, jump in. So we're zoomed in. I'm gonna be doing this eye. I used my MAC paint pot to prime. Here's the palette one more time. This is very, very pretty. Again, this launched on the 14th. I never buy palettes when they launch, ever. I try and wait six months at least um, for reviews, but this is gonna be a first impression of this palette, but also a first impression of Sigma eyeshadows. I've never tried Sigma eyeshadows. I've been wanting to try them for a long time, and this palette looked really pretty, so that's why I got it right now. Instead of waiting, I've heard their formula is decent, and you do get a nice little double angle brush so I might try to use this a little bit we'll see I'll set it off to the side but yeah I normally do not buy palettes when they launch like I said very very rarely um just because there's so much I try to wait for reviews there you and I just don't need any more eyeshadow palettes so that's also part of it so let's see I haven't really planned out a look I'm gonna go in with apricot this slightly darker light shade and I'm gonna put this in the crease and this is probably not gonna be a complicated look but I want to see again I've never used Sigma shadows so I want to see how I like them I like their brushes a lot I have a few Sigma brushes I don't have a ton just because they're expensive but I do really like their brushes so I've heard their eyeshadow formula is good. 
Again, never tried it. I've been trying to limit the palettes that I bring in just because I have so many. So I have to really, really like a palette to buy, especially as an initial launch. There's a little bit of like kick up, but it's not bad. I would say it's less than like an ABH palette. So that's nice because those are really powdery, but and then I'm gonna go in with hybrid, which is the peach, I think. Maybe. Mm. Let me do a little bit of medallion and then maybe we'll go in with hybrid lace. I didn't plan out a shade or an eye look very well. So let's go in with a little bit of that because that'll deepen things up and then I can blend it out with that apricot color. We'll do that. Probably would have helped if I had planned a look out, but I figured it would be more genuine first impression if I um, just went straight into the eye and didn't do this one off camera. So that's what we're doing. So you know, sometimes with the larger influencers, it's hard to tell if they have their feelings are genuine. I know there was that whole controversy for a long time. So then we'll go into hybrid, which is this peach color. And I'm just color switching in between. So far, I'm still using this as a little Lexi small tapered blending brush. This is a very warm palette, so you have to like warm tones. Put my mirror a little closer. I don't have my glasses on, so I'm slightly blind. And then the next trick will be if I can remember what colors I put on my eye when I do the other one. I put a little bit of medallion, that brown, and I'm just putting that in the outer corner. slightly. So let's go in. My favorite Figma eye brush is the Blending E25. I have two of them because I, I like it that much. I got one in like a bundle and then a while later um, Ipsy had it as in like their add-on store. I was like, oh, I need another one. So I'm going to take a little bit of Bare Root, which is the darkest shade in the palette and just a little bit. These are very pigmented, which is nice. And so far they're blending out really good. I don't have, so there's a little bit of kick up in the pan, but I'm not seeing any fallout on my face. So, and even if there was, um, if you go in with like a really loose, like fluffy brush, I just dust it away. I usually don't have too much trouble with fallout sticking to my face unless it's like really, really glittery. Okay. I'm gonna go back over it with medallion just a little bit. But yeah, this is my favorite Sigma eye brush. I have a favorite, what is this? soft angle contour from Sigma. The F23 is a really good, I use that to blend out my contour and do bronzer. I'm going to go back into hybrid with the peach shade. Blend out the edge. There really isn't a good like brow bone highlight, so I'm probably going to have to pull that from another palette, but... I'm gonna use a little bit of Cor de Rosa, the one with the, the rose stamped in it. And I just wanna see, we'll put that a little bit on top of everything that we did. I've seen a couple reviews of this and they were saying that was a really good shade. It blended out, it was really soft, it was a little bit different of a texture from the other shadows. I'm gonna do 
get started and try it. Okay. Make sure that brown shade is blended out. Okay, now what to do on the lid? I'm gonna take a little bit of concealer. Not that these need it. This is generally the way I do most eye looks. It's kind of a fake cut crease. So this is just e.l.f. regular camo concealer and a brush. I just put this on my lid. I usually either do this or I will go in with the NYX glitter primer just because I feel like most shimmers perform better. Um, I do that so I don't have to wet my brush as much gives them something to stick to. Again, not that this palette needs this, but I tend to do this with most palettes that I have, so. Okay, I got a little bit of concealer on my lid, but that's okay. We'll take a little bit of hybrid and just out and just like tap the edge a little bit I have slightly my eyes are hooded so I don't generally do like full-on regular cut creases just because my eyes are small and they're hooded and I feel like it looks weird because then the cut crease is like almost up to my eyebrow so I tend to do this fake version just because I feel like it looks better on me so I'm going to go into the lightest shade, I think, which is Belle of the Ball. So that first one was swatched just on a little flat Morphe brush. There is a little bit of fallout with the shimmers, but I tend to find that that's the case with most palettes because the shimmers are softer and flakier and thus creating fallout. I'm gonna take this all over where I put the concealer. I usually go in with a brush and then I will go in with my finger. I feel like that intensifies. things the most. That's pretty. Take that down and do the inner corner. And to blend, I'm going to take, I think, some of Campfire, which is this shimmer right here. This one and High Society are not as foiled as Sun Spirit and Bell of the Ball. Those two seemed like more of a foily shimmer. Again, I'm gonna go in with a little bit on my finger and just kind of tap it in and that's gonna help me blend that into the outer part. It's not bad. I'm going to try wetting this just a little bit. I don't like wetting the brush, but I feel like this could maybe be a little more intense than it is. Let's clean this off. Not to say that it's not bad, but I want to see if wetting it makes any difference. I don't know if that did much, but it's pretty. Like those are pretty shimmers, so. I have some palettes where the shimmers are just like intense, so I think that's like ruined me a little bit. So now I'm like, if it's not blinding, I'm like, eh, that, that's pretty. Okay. Let's figure out something with the lower lash line. Let's maybe, I think I'm going to go into 
summer song. Um, I don't know what this is. This is a Royal and Lay Nickel, like little detail chubby brush. So summer song. And then I think I might take a little bit of High Society, which is the other, other shimmer. So then High Society is that one. like shimmer so I don't mind okay so let me clean up the fallout I'll make this eye look like this eye and we'll come okay back. so I brought you back out this is the finished look I tried to make my eyes match I feel like the outer corner on this side is probably a little darker and then there's a little bit of color on this side that's too I I did my best to try and make a match I always run into this problem but this is the finished look um I like it I did add a little bit of glitter because I'm crazy and I can't help myself. So there's a little bit of Stila Kitten Karma. I didn't use a ton, but I like things to be really sparkly. Not that the shimmers in this palette are bad, but I said I'm crazy. So, and then liner is the Stila Stay All Day Waterproof Liner. I did a little bit of wing. I put the Appeal Gel Liner in Dulce. My waterline, this could be a lip liner, but I use it as eyeliner, so that's what's in there. Under my brow bone, I went in, it's from the Smoke Balm little palette from the balm. It is smoking. If I don't have a good brow bone highlight in any palette, this is the one that I use. I like a off-white shimmer under my brow bone, so if palette doesn't have that, this is what I use. So it's, again, nothing against this palette. It's just the color that I like to use. Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara. I just curled them and put mascara on. I don't have falsies on today. And then there's a fly in here. And then for lips, I have Laura Lee's Jaybird. She has one of the best liquid lipstick formulas. I have her three nude shades. I, I don't know how she did it, but she has one of the best formulas. So if you've never tried her liquid lipsticks, Topless is my favorite all time, hands down. That's generally what I'm wearing in videos, but it's a good formula. So back to the palette. Let's look at the palette one more time. You could probably use Veranda depending on skin tone as a highlight. Like I said, I like a little bit of a shimmery brow bone highlight, but I like this palette. The formula is good. My husband's phone's ringing. Um, now he's leaving. Okay. Um, I like this palette. I think it's good. The blendability was good. Pigmentation was good. Um, shimmers are good. They could be a little bit punchier for me. I would say if you were going to compare this to an ABH palette, like their mattes, I think are better than ABH's mattes, honestly. Like they're not as powdery. There's not as much kick up. Pigmentation is comparable, but there's just not as much fallout um, and kick up in the pan as an ABH palette. I will say ABH shimmers are a little bit punchier, but these are good shimmers. Like I said, I just added glitter because I've used palettes that have extreme shimmers and now it's ruined me forever. I figured this out looking at some of my other palettes, like why don't I like this anymore? Oh, it's because it's not a blinding metallic. Not everything has to be a blinding metallic. So I like this palette. I do think it's worth the money. Um, I got this on the 16th when they did their restock, second, first restock. Um, I'll look and see if it's available. They may have sold out again. I don't know when the next restock is going to be. Um, you can do an email like sign up to be notified when it comes back into stock. So that's what I did. So I bought it two days after launch. It came really quick. I think this came in the mail yesterday. Today's the 22nd. So it came pretty quick. So yeah, I like it. It's a good palette. I don't know that I'm going to run out and buy any other palettes just because I don't need palettes, but I wouldn't mind getting more Sigma brushes, but they have a good formula. I liked it. It was good. If you like this color story and you want to get it, I would say it's worth the money. You can, I use Trend Moods discount code, but there's a ton of people that have Sigma affiliate links. So you can find a 10% code if you don't want to use hers. If Generally, a lot of, if 
a YouTuber has over 100,000, generally they're a Sigma affiliate. So if you have somebody that you watch, they probably have a code or can recommend somebody with the code. So you can save a little bit on this if you want to. Okay, I'm done rambling. Those are my thoughts. Thank you so much for this joining me on this journey. Um, make sure you are subscribed. I have three active giveaways going on on my channel. There's one and two for April, and then I hit 800 subscribers. So there is an 800 subscriber giveaway going on also. So make sure you're subscribed and then you can qualify to enter those giveaways. I will pick a winner at the end of the month. So you got a week. So yeah, thank you guys so, so much. Leave me some comments down below. I wouldn't mind doing another video if people would be interested in me doing more of a pinky you know, with the pinky ready tones in here. So leave me a comment if you want to see that. I will do another, another look with this palette. Thank you so, so much for watching. And hopefully I will see you in another video very, very soon. Bye everyone.